Attack on Titan is a Japanese manga created by Hajime Izayama, and it is adored and loved by many fans, but did you know that Attack on Titan began on September 9th, 2009, and it all began in the Batsutsu Shoen magazine. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Dave Wapple, and welcome to FTD Facts, where we teach you guys everything about everything. Today, we're not talking about celebrities, we're not talking about Earth, we're talking about that famous manga known as Attack on Titan. Now before I get into this, there's a lot of people who are watching this who are going to be anime fans. So let me know down there in the comments below if you love this series. Also let me know who your favorite anime character is of all time, guys. Yeah, put it down there. Now it may be a shock to some of you guys, it may not be to all those hardcore fans out there, but is Emma's favorite character? Do you know who it is? It's John Christian, that's right. That's because he's the kind of character that says what he wants without any repercussions. You'd rather I was good at getting killed? Thank you, but I'll pass. Better to play the system than get gnawed on. <laughs> and I guess Hajime just really likes that. Now Hanji, she's kind of interesting because, well, when I say she, did you know that she's not actually a she? Now although in the films and the animes, yes she is a girl, but originally Hajime wanted her gender to be a complete mystery. And he really wanted it to be up to the reader, that's you guys, to decide what she or he is. Now the concept for the walls, I love this about this series, it makes things just seem a little like, wait, what's out there? And that was actually based on Hajime's village. When he grew up, his village was surrounded by mountains and he could never see past him. But also those walls are inspired by Nord Legion in Germany. Very similar. Did you guys know that Attack on Titan was banned in China? This is because they felt that Attack on Titan and other source material similar to it was damaging to miners and that it led miners to pornography, violence, and even terrorist activities. Now the character Sasha, she is loved by so many Many people. But originally in chapter 36, Iziyama had planned to kill her off. And it was so gruesome that one of the editors went into the bathroom and cried. And I think it's because of that reason Iziyama changed his mind. Now although Sasha is loved, according to polls, Levi is the most famous character. I think it's because he doesn't get drunk and he is the strongest of all the characters. Now running in second, yes, it's gonna be Aaron. And that's because Aaron has the highest kill rate out of the 104 trainee squad. Did you know that there's an Attack on Titan attraction at the Universal Studios in Japan? It's really cool because they have a life-size statue reenactment of Titans fighting each other. And of course, they've got the head of the Titan that ate Aaron's mother. And it's great, you can take a photo with it and pretend to be eaten. Man, that's a fact to stick in your brain. If you look closely at Aaron's Titan form, it has what you call nicotine rotating eye membranes, which is pretty much a third eyelid that things like sharks use. The character Mikasa is actually named after a Japanese dreadnought from the Imperial Japanese Navy. Izyama felt that if he had characters with names based off of famous Japanese warships, the entire series would become successful. I think he was right. One of the funniest things I find about this series is when Iziyama started making money off the series, his bank called him and was like, why are you making this much money? The bank became suspicious thinking that Iziyama was doing some illegal bank transfers. You know, you just call him up and be like, hey dude, guess what? I'm no longer broke anymore. Yeah, because I got a really successful series. Cool, thanks. The character Rorschach from the famous series The Watchmen was an influence on design and personality for Levi. If we look at the character Erwin, he has very similar traits to Erwin Rommel, who was a very famous Nazi general. He was that tank guy in Africa. The Desert Fox, they called him. You may notice that Erwin's birthday is on October 14th, which is the same day as General Erwin's death. Now let's take a look at this image right here. This happens at the 110 mark of the opening credits. It's obviously a soldier doing a flip in 3D maneuver gear. Now people thought it was Jean, but actually it was supposed to be an anonymous representation of humanity. Some of the titans in the series are based off of Izyama's friends and family. And if you're lucky enough to get in touch with him, you can even get a request. Strangely enough, the Attack on Titan universe is a place that you just don't want to go to without any nose plugs. Because it stinks! 
actually, to be honest, most of the characters really don't bathe. Hygiene's not important in that universe. For all you Marvel fans out there, you may be interested to know that there was a crossover point. There was definitely a comic book series where Titans took on the Marvel superheroes. Now, if you guys don't understand how crazy Attack on Titan fans are for source material, this next fact is going to show you. In Japan, there was a $1,200 Attack on Titan toy, and this figure was demanded so much that it sold out in two hours. Now that's some good fan base if you ask me. Isyama has also stated that he has the entire series planned out. And although originally he stated that everyone was going to die by the end of it, apparently since then he's changed his mind. But we all know how artists and authors are, they sometimes like to throw us a curveball. And although he does say he has the end in mind, he's just not sure how the characters are going to develop to get to that ending. Either way, I'm pretty sure you guys all agree with me, I hope this doesn't come to an end anytime soon. And if you guys are huge Attack on Titan fans, I want to know who your favorite character is and why down there in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, it's been awesome hanging out with you and it's been awesome talking about Attack on Titan. This is FTD Facts where we talk about everything and everything. Stuff like the universe, stuff like celebrities. And if it's your first time here hanging out with me, hit that subscribe button and check out more videos. And on top of that guys, come on over to my Instagram account. I like to make videos and do shout outs to my own fans. That's going to be right down there. Yep, that's it. Come join me over there guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later skaters!